Good afternoon everyone, Chef AJ here. Hope it's bright enough for you when I broadcast myself. I don't always have all the lights. This is probably gonna be the most boring video ever because I have nothing to show you. But people have emailed me at least once a day since I got an air fryer asking me to do a video on how to make french fries in the air fryer or just how to use an air fryer in general. So here's how it goes. I will move my little friend over. This is, isn't this cute? This is a little scrubbing brush. So I'm going to show you how to use the Go Wise air fryer, which is right here, and I'm going to be making some air fried potatoes for my lunch. So right here I have two potatoes. These are organic russet potatoes, and they weighed about a pound and a half, 24 ounces before cooking, and then the cooking they weighed down to about 20 ounces. Hi guys, hi Teresa, hi Colleen. So for, hello Jean, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the potatoes. So how you cut them depends on how thick you want the fries. I, I think it will be boring, Dion, because there's nothing to look at. So uh, first thing I do is I cut them in half. And believe it or not, sometimes I just air fry them this way. I can only fit two in there. So that's why we only have two. And that's really not going to be enough for my lunch. So sometimes I just put in four like that. And sometimes I cut them and I do eight. It just really depends what I feel like. A lot of times I'll cut each half into fourths or third. And, oh, by the way, these are cooked. So that is one of my secrets, is that I always, always cook my potatoes first. It seems to make the best and crunchiest fries if you cook your potato in advance and then refrigerate it. So since I'm only doing two, I just microwaved these yesterday because I figured I'd probably have these for lunch today as I will. So here we've got 12 fries. Okay, so now this is the GoWise. I've plugged it in. This is a very affordable, wonderful unit that I believe is 5.8 quarts. Very few pieces. It comes in different colors. This is obviously black. You got the machine and then you got the bottom pieces and then there's only two pieces of this. You got the basket. And then you got the thing, I don't know what it's called. So you know me, I never read them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my fries. I just don't know what to put the camera on while everything's cooking because I just got done spinning, so I'm not going to put it on me. Maybe I'll put it on Bailey while we wait. I'll get her in here. So you just want to not overfill the unit. You know, I've done some interviews with Kathy Hester and JL Fields. They're very proficient in air frying. They have wonderful books. They talk about how you can do a rack with a second level. But if you don't use the rack, you definitely don't want to overcrowd it because then they won't get nice and crunchy, which is the whole purpose, in my opinion, of an air fryer uh, so that you can make crispy fries without any oil and, of course, without any salt. So uh, there's, I'll get to your question in just a second, Lily, I want to get this started. So that's about all that will fit in here. And now I'm just going to put it in. And then I'm going to push this button. And you see it's automatically the default is 370. So I'm going to do it at 400 because I just do everything at 400. And I'm going to put it in, I like them really crunchy, so I'm going to do 22 minutes and then I'm gonna push start, and that's that. Thanks saying you love Bailey. So there's really not gonna be much to do other than I'm gonna maybe shake them halfway through. So I'm gonna show you really easy how to make some vegetables. I know there's people that don't really even have basic skills like this, so I don't mind showing it. I do it when I do private coaching, but it seems like it's kind of boring for a video. But oh, thanks that you like our uh, shopping video. Angela it's on YouTube now so this is a pot that comes with a steamer basket and so in it I just put four cups of water now you certainly don't need four cups of water to steam vegetables I'm gonna put it on high I have electric that's I don't have a gas stove and I'm gonna put the top on and once it's boiling I am going to put my vegetables which today is broccoli it's only 12 ounces because that's all they had in the store in the bag. And uh, then I'm gonna steam it for exactly five minutes. So, hey Bailey, you wanna come here? I just, I can't really hold the camera on myself and read your comments. So, um, what can I hold it on that would be less boring? Well, 
there's my instant bot. Bailey, the people want to see you, so let me read back, go back to your comments. So, uh, you guys don't realize how hard this is to do, so that's why when people give Kenny a hard time, I get really upset, because you don't know how fast it goes. Dion, thanks for saying I'm never boring. Valerie, hello from Salt Lake City. Hi, Diane. Hi, Pat. I'm glad you love potatoes. Shirley, you're always there with the hearts. Thank you. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jean. Hi, Joan. Uh, Angela is saying you're a top fan. I don't know why, but thank you. Hi, Amelia. Okay, so Lily, do I use the pouch when I microwave them? That's a great question. So I do have a couple of the pouches she's referring to, which you can get at Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. These are called the Potato Express, and this is something I often use when I travel because there almost always is a microwave available in most hotels now, even uh, lower-end ones, and you can often rent one if there isn't. What I do, if God forbid there isn't a microwave, I go to the nearest Walmart, I buy the cheapest microwave, and when I leave, that's the tip for the housekeeper. So Lily, I usually don't. Now, a question I get all the time is, um, how long do you microwave your potatoes for? And I don't mean to be facetious, but until done. Because guys, everybody's microwave is a different wattage. It, it just, there's just no answer to that. So it also depends if uh, how big the potatoes are, how many are in there, so I don't have the answer. So, and I really don't know how to teach something like that because really every microwave is different. So I'm gonna tell you, uh, you know, this is kind of really boring just to watch the air fryer go, but you can see that it's gonna count down the time. Uh, it's, it's showing that it's 400 and it's uh, gonna say it's 20 minutes in a second yeah yeah they put the time back on so uh, I can't seem to get Bailey to come in the kitchen but let me see glad you're using the go wise yes um, Lakshmi I I, I, um, I definitely use the go wise when it's just me because it's enough for me but if it's for me and Charles or a group that's why I have the Breville as well but the go wise is very affordable it's a wonderful company, it's a wonderful machine, like I said, both JL Fields and Kathy Hester, who I've interviewed several times on Weight Loss Wednesday and other uh, shows, uh, have books and they use it and they love it. So, let's see, I always have to use the oven, I don't have an air fryer. Well, Christy, I've seen them as low as $60 uh, dollars at Walmart and um, there's nothing wrong with using the oven, however, I find that they don't get as crispy in the oven. But more than that, I live where it's, it's 100 where I live today, and I just don't want to turn my oven on because then I have to turn my air conditioning on, which is expensive. So for me, the money that I save by not having to use the AC, uh, the air fryer paid for itself. Uh, thank you, Lily, for enjoying all the shows. Okay, let's see what else you guys are saying before I tell you a little funny story. Got your air fryer from QVC. Angela, my first one was the Cook's Essential from QVC. It was a gift. But in about a year, it just you know broke, and the warranty wasn't there. So um, let's see if there's any questions. Yes, Deborah. One of the reasons to pre-cook the potato, and I I don't know the technical reason. It has something to do with resistant starch or something. It was quite an accident how I discovered this. I I always travel with cooked sweet potatoes, usually the Japanese. And one day when I got home from a trip, I had one extra potato, and it was like cold. It was in my cooler purse. And I'm like, ugh, I don't really want to eat a cold potato. I really don't want to microwave it. So I put it in the air fryer. It was like the best thing I ever ate. So now that's what I do with everything. Uh, thank you, uh, Vonda. I'm glad you like the simple cooking videos. I'm trying to do more of these. Ever since I got a 44-year-old client that did not know how to bake a potato, I figured it's really unnecessary to do that. Hello, everyone. Let's see, BJ. Okay. Uh, I have an air fryer, never use it. Yes, Sue, don't be afraid of using air fryer. I'll tell you a little story about the air fryer. Is the Potato Express uh, washable, Betty wants to know? I think it is, Betty, but I've never had to wash it. Hello, Vicki. Wow, all the way from Ireland. That's really cool. I bet you like potatoes in Ireland, right? All right, you guys, the comments are coming so fast. I'm trying to keep up with them. Um, what are you making? Fries and broccoli. Yeah, I just want to eat starch and veggies. Starch and veggies and a little fruit as a treat, and that's kind of my life. Um, Barry fills the entire basket with raw, cut, up washed. Yes, very cool, Barry. Um, Barry, the movie was very good that you didn't want to see with us the other night, just so you know. Uh, thank you, Carla. Yeah, I try to give back to my community or just to people. You know, um, I learned that at a very young age, and 
you know, JP says, volunteer work is the rent we pay for the privilege of eating, eating on earth, living on earth, eating, that's because I'm hungry. I did 95 minutes on the spin bike. Yeah, Christy, this is a go wise. Thank you for the kind comment, Sherry. So tell you a funny story. Some of you have heard it. I know, Barry, you heard it. I said it in my class, but it's true. Don't be afraid of using these machines like the Instant Pot and the Air Fryer. So um, it, when I was 22, I graduated uh, uh, with an AA degree from college. I, I went back many years later and got my, my uh, what did I get, BA? Yeah. So Jen Dyson has the basket. Okay. So I was a respiratory therapist for many years at St. John's Hospital. And when you're a respiratory therapist, there's like a test you take before you actually work with patients. And it's an, oh, sorry, we'll have to wait. The story will have to wait. So there it is, the water is boiled. Now by the way, the reason I put four cups of water in is because I want to have pot liquor. You could put in as little as a half a cup of water, which means it would boil uh, it really in seconds and not take that long. So five minutes and we'll have steamed broccoli. So anyway, we had these oral exams, like, and um, one of the, and there was, it was group oral exams, and one of the questions, was um, how does a handheld nebulizer work? That's the little thing that I use as an asthmatic where you put the albuterol in and you plug it in. And, and so the idea was is you were supposed to talk about the physics that you learn, a early principle, things like that. So one of the girls, and I'm not making this up, was asked that question and this is how she answered her. She goes, you plugs it in and you turns it on. Well, Needless to say, she didn't pass, but honestly, guys, when it comes to the Instant Pot and the air fryer, that's how I feel about it. You plugs it in and you turns it on. Many of you don't know that I'm dyslexic. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. I got through school okay, uh, fine, mostly A's, except certain subjects. I had to have a tutor. But the point is, is it's really hard for me to read things in print. That's why I'm so happy that the pleasure trap is on audio and I was the voice narrator. I love audio books. I just, I don't read very well. I mix up letters and words and things like that, you know, and phone numbers especially. But anyway, so reading a manual that comes with the air fryer or the Instant Pot or my car, it's, uh, it's too hard for me. And so that's what I do. I call up Sharon McRae or one of my chef friends like JL or Kathy and I just say, how do you do it? And they tell me. And, and that's what I do. I plugs it in and I turns it on. Now let's see. Um, any seasoning on fries or broccoli? Jamie, nah, not today. I mean, if I feel like it, um, it's, I'm nothing against seasoning. I got to tell you that the new um, roasted garlic Benson's Table Tasty is the best thing I've ever tried. It's even better than the original. It's like as good as the original, but with this depth of flavor. And so that would be delicious. I mean, everything is delicious. And if I had barbecue sauce, I would put it on. But I'm really, really busy today. I've got so many um, irons in the fire with the Vegas conference that I, I just, I, I mean, really, guys, I eat to live now. I don't live to eat anymore. And it's wonderful. Plain is sane and bland is grand. It's not that I don't enjoy the spices, but it's just, for me, they perpetuate overeating. And, and that's okay, I'm, I'm slender now, I, it, it's not gonna matter, but it's, it's, I'm just, I just need my fuel, and, and this, getting the spices, it just takes longer, it makes more of a mess, but there's nothing, I have nothing against spices for people. And uh, the broccoli, I, I, I enjoy it plain, and uh, my favorite thing, actually, is what I posted yesterday on Facebook and Instagram, you want to follow me it's the real chef aj on instagram i have no idea what i'm doing on instagram it's just a cooked can of yam uh, with broccoli it's like the best thing in the world so yeah i mean you know jamie any seasoning makes people eat more and so if it's if you're struggling to eat vegetables that's like a really good thing but uh, it, they taste good without it too but that takes some neuro adaptation uh, stina says when i first started watching videos you were still using some condiments with Oh, I don't know when I was using condiments with salt in them. I haven't done anything with salt since, to my knowledge, August 1st, 2008, when I went SOS free. But um, I, I personally have not eaten salt in, in, in over 10 years now. So um, unless it was like on my TV show or the chef of the dietitian, I might have used some raw coconut aminos, but I, I personally did not eat that. Um, Betty thought of me when she put collars in the IP. Thank you, yeah, people think of me in all kinds of places, like the bathroom, because they're finally pooping good now. Should I have put them directly in the water? I put them in the steamer. Huh, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way, Betty. I just put my greens in, um, you know, with the water, because then it makes this delicious pot liquor. And I put more water than is called for, usually three to four cups, because 
I like to have the pot liquor. So you like to listen to me while driving, but just don't get into an accent. Zucchini fries in the air fryer. Yes, Janet, I had two pounds of zucchini fries for breakfast. I made them in the Breville because they wouldn't fit in this machine and delicious. When can we get the new Bensons at the Vegas conference? I talked to her yesterday. I seem to remember people's names. Well, actually their names are being posted, Colleen. So who sells this? Who sells what? The GoWise, the GoWise company sells. They have a website and it's also on Amazon. Zucchini fries are good. They don't get crispy. They just get delicious. Oh, I'm glad you got your Bensons today. Very curious about my books. Well, uh, they're great in my opinion. One is called Unprocessed and the new one is called The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. Yes, Cynthia says, air fryer makes things different and special. Yeah, uh, Lane likes plain veggies, no seasoning. Oh yeah, fries with red lentil chili is amazing. If you don't have an air fryer, which one do you recommend? So Lorraine, I don't know how big your household is, but I recommend the biggest one you can afford. What I love about the GoWise is that it's small enough that I can travel with it, but it's not big enough, in my opinion, for more than one person eating a ultimate weight loss style diet. Okay, so now, the broccoli's already ready. That's the way I like it. I like it al dente, so let's see. This is what it looks like outside where I live, guys. I live across the street from a park. Kind of pretty. So the broccoli's done, so I'll just take that aside and uh, get to that when I get to that. And I'm gonna save this pot liquor and drink it. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time um, so here we are. You can see they're starting to get brown. Now realize I'm only using, I only have one hand. So I, if I had both hands available, I would just be shaking this the way Barry talked about. But I don't because I'm holding the camera. So I dumped them out on the counter. And I'm just going to put them back in and reposition them so that the part that didn't get crispy. And by the way, these are done. I mean, there's no reason I can't eat these now. It's just that I always like things with extra acrylamides. And I'm being facetious because there's no evidence that the acryl that browning vegetable foods when you don't use oil is harmful. People worry about the craziest things, majoring in minor things. You know, yesterday... We spent so long doing that webinar that Gustavo and I did, which you can get on YouTube now. I mean, it took two days to shot, to shoot, and then all the time he spent editing. And so, you know, and it was free. It's just something we thought might be interesting to people. And people are writing, oh, there's plastic on that product. And I'm thinking, you know what? I've been vegan for 40 years. You know how many animals I've saved? You know, oops, now see, I think I messed up by pressing that. I don't think I was supposed to press that twice. We'll see what happens. But the point is, is 41 years vegan, do you know how light my footprint is? And so you're gonna criticize me for using a little bit of plastic when I recycle everything, either directly in the recycle bin or I repurpose it. Even those little pieces of plastic and rubber bands, everything gets reused here. So anyway, you do have to push it again after you shake it. So again, um, your question, Lorraine, what do I recommend? I think the Go Wise is a great one if this is the size you're looking for, but if you're more than one person, then you might need a bigger one. And therefore, I would recommend the Breville. By the way, look, see, um, E to the left of the red line, I keep that on my water bottle. What's cool about the Breville, here, I'm gonna plug it in and show it to you why it's cool. Okay, so I'm not using it right now, but What's neat about the Breville is like I can cook all this stuff for company. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's hard to see what it says with the way the light is, but see, here's the different functions of the Breville. It says toast, bagel, broil, bake, roast, warm, pizza proof, air fry, reheat, cookie, slow cook, dehydrator. So it does all those things without heating up your house. It a tray for pizza. It comes with these uh, special air frying trays. So it's pretty cool and it capacity is really great. Oh, here's a painting my sister-in-law painted. Very nice. Let me just show you my cool refrigerator. Oh, this was me on the cruise many, many years ago, four years ago. I got really cool stuff, stuff on my fridge, I think. Two choices for dinner, take it or leave it. Anyway, let's get back to the air fryer. And uh, so, uh, Lorraine, I always recommend the best and the biggest you can afford, whatever you're buying. Okay, so what else? Water in the zucchini, yes, it doesn't get crispy, but it does get delicious. Um, Cynthia loves her Phillips XL. I'm sure that's a very good brand, too. Yes, I used organic potatoes, but Dave, I don't worry about it. You know, I've eaten an A-plus diet for 15 years, and I'm not going to worry about stuff like that because I would rather eat conventional produce than organic animal products 
and processed foods. And it's so interesting, these people that criticize me for shopping at Costco because there's packaging. Okay, uh, I live in an apartment. I don't, there's no way I can grow my own food right now. And, you know, if you buy processed food or animal products, you don't think those come with packaging? I've never seen a steak, you know, at a farmer's market where you just take it. So I just don't get these, uh, these people. Um, why do my Brussels sprouts burn? Well, it could depend, Angela. If you're putting balsamic on them, that's going to make them burn a little faster, so you might want to lower your cooking time. I don't know why they burn before they're done. Maybe cut them smaller. Um, that hasn't happened to me, so I would say maybe decrease the cooking time, or maybe, I mean, cut them larger, or maybe it's if you're putting, like, vinegar on it. Oh, thanks, Tammy. You love the pop-up cooking. Yes, impromptu. Um, Thanks for the compliment on yesterday's video, Christy and Elaine and Colleen. Um, yeah, people are ungrateful. You know, it's like a, ha a glass half empty, half full kind of thing. You know, I think I think it says more about them than me. Yeah, Barbara, why do people feel the need to complain so much? So that is a great question, and I hope that Dr. Doug Lyle will come back on the monthly interview to um, to address that. Uh, I don't know. You know, it, it just seems to be that there's there's there are two kind of people: people that look at things. You know, in a positive way, and people that look at things in a negative way. Um, he he explained on one of them why people are crit often are critical on YouTube and stuff, and that has to do with jealousy and status in the village. But I don't know why people uh, complain. But I can't imagine how fun it is to be them if all they do is complain about a free video. You know, and the stuff they say, it's like, like, oh, well, you picked up Bailey and you didn't wash your hands. Okay, this is my house, my kitchen, and I'm eating it. What do you care? You know, it's just crazy, you know, or, or that my counter ha needs to be remodeled. Uh, here's my counter. Yeah, um, I live in an apartment, and they're not going to fix it, just so you know. Big Boss Air Fryer, Deborah has. She loves it because she can watch, watch it cooking. Very cool. Yeah, there's so many of them. And, you know, you guys, there's two free air fryer groups on Facebook. JL Fields is called Vegan Air Frying Enthusiasts, and... The other one is uh, Susan Poison. It's called Fat Free Vegan Air Frying. You can join for free and ask lots of questions. I know if you're going to complain, don't watch the video complaint here. <laughs> Thank you. I wish we had the, the complaint monitoring police. Breville's the best thing Angela bought besides her iPod and air fryer. Yeah, I think uh, the iPod is great. I'm hoping to have the inventor come on and talk about the different things. And, uh, you know, uh, somebody in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program said they were very unhappy with their Instant Pot. The first thing they cooked was beans and it burned and they're, they're really upset. And I don't know, like for me, the Instant Pot is a total game changer. So, oh, thank you, Robin. Okay, so, yeah, the Breville is worth the price. It's $3.99, but you can use your coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond regardless of what it says. They always take it. Thank you, Julie, for seeing my shopping video. is good. Um, I haven't seen her in a while, Jamie. She moved. And let's see. Oh, hi, Sharon McCray. I just mentioned you, I think, on this video. I always mention you. Me and my other half love growing veg, and she loves your videos. Thanks, Dwayne. Was following Mantar doing too restrictive? Thanks. Yeah, I, I think, John, you've got to do the least restrictive program you can do to get the results you want. How do I stop from eating all day because I'm full? Because the food I eat is fruits, vegetables, whole grains. They're full of water, fiber, and I'm too full, so I don't eat all day. And plus, I'm busy. I mean, I, I work. How, how am I going to eat all day? Believe it or not, my kitchen's smaller than yours. Yeah, tune them out. Okay, so wait. The questions are going so fast, I'm trying to get to all of them. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, so um, uh, Cynthia, the shopping video is on my YouTube page right now. Please subscribe to me on YouTube, and then it comes to you right away. Yeah, I leave rude people tell me about it. Three dogs never sleep with me, never sick. Of course, three, three dogs sleep with Carla, she's never sick. Absolutely. So I wanted to answer a question. Yep, the Tammy loves her iPod and Janice gave her to her daughter. Okay, so uh, somebody asked, uh, I believe it was June, on the UWL, that's the ultimate weight loss program that I run. If you need support in your weight loss journey, you're recovering from food addiction, or even if you're slender and just eat this way like Sharon and a few other same people, you can join us. It's a really great group, and we're all meeting up in Vegas in a few weeks. Somebody said, how do you stay compliant in Vegas? So the answer is the same way you do anywhere. You watch my travel webinar, which is free, on YouTube and on my website, and just, you know, it's Vegas. It's one of the easier places because they have a Whole Foods with an incredible salad bar. 
they have a compliant restaurant in the hotel, meaning compliant food available. I can't think of the name of it, but it's a hotel called the Tuscany where we are. You can get sweet potato or regular potato with steamed vegetables. Two of the meals you know you're already taken care of, which is lunch. You're gonna have a huge buffet. So depending on when you come, you really only have to worry about you know, dinner Friday night, dinner Saturday night, of course, depending on when you're leaving. Uh, not everybody eats breakfast in UWL. A lot of us do IF, but we recommend you go grab some veggies somewhere. Or um, we're thinking of getting the Umqua Oats, which are compliant, so we can give you guys breakfast for two days. We tried to do that last year, but it didn't arrive in time. I personally bring my Instant Pot with me to Vegas. I bring the small one because that's big enough for me, the three quart, very easy to travel with. Uh, not bringing the air fryer because we're flying. And uh, let's see, Janice says, daughter just moved to Vegas, many vegan places. Yes, they have Panvino. It, it's a wonderful steakhouse that man the manager, which is, who is Vincen can we say, Vincenzo Granita, I believe. He's McDougal certified and he is an amazing chef and he can make any kind of starch-based, oil-free meal. I mean, Dr. Furman's eaten at his restaurant, Dr. Goldhammer, he will make whatever you want if you give him 24 hours notice. There are other vegan restaurants, like Janice said, I'm not aware of what they're called. But again, you know, as long as they're a Whole Foods, I'm good to go. So two minutes left, let's see what it's looking like. Oh yeah, these are these are done. So, um, oh, but again, I'll, I'll just finish it to let you know how it sounds like. Um, every time you do it though, It'll, it'll remember what it was. So somebody asked me on Instagram, and again, I'm sorry, I don't understand Instagram or how to read your messages. I can't see the messages on Instagram or Facebook, so please don't send it to me that way, only through evenprocess.com. But I did see somebody post in on one of my pictures, what do I think about an all fruit diet? So not a fan. I am a fan of the starch-based diet where most of the calories come from starch, but most of the volume comes from vegetables and some fruit. The thing is, is if you are somebody that has struggled with your weight or is recovering from food addiction, the last thing you need is to be eating sugar all day. And yes, fruit is different than processed sugar. Of course, it's got the water and the fiber and the vitamins and the minerals. But once you've been a sugar addict, you start turning to fruit as uh, your fix. And while there are certain people like Robbie Barbero, who is a guy, and we learned from last week from Rosanna Alviera that guys are so different than women metabolically when it comes to weight loss, and he's somebody that's never been overweight to my knowledge or suffered with food addiction. He can do the 80-10-10, but most of us can't. Uh, I, when I was raw, I was cold all the time. I was absolutely miserable, and I could not get enough calories from fruits and vegetables, so I had to turn to what? Fat, you know, nuts and things like that. So. I think that people that gravitate towards the all fruit diet tend to be people that are sugar addicts in disguise or recovering sugar addicts. And while it's certainly more healthy, the best diet is the one that Dr. McDougall has been talking about for 40 years, starch-based diet, but with lots of fruits and vegetables the way that Dr. Goldhammer tells us to do. And I don't like any diet that restricts vegetables. Um, that's why I'm not a fan of the mono diet, whether it's all potatoes, you know, if you're, if you're diabetic like my brother at 300 pounds and want to go to Duke University and do the Kempner diet and just eat white rice to reverse your diabetes, that's one thing, but I'm not a fan of any dietary style that limits vegetables or excludes them for any reason for any amount of time because those are the things that are going to help you lose weight based on their caloric density, nutrient density, and the properties they have for combating food addiction by turning off the hunger switch and fighting the cravings. Uh, just eating starch, it's you don't need to reset you just need to eat to the left of the red line that is the reset so my lunch is ready don't these look delicious okay be very careful it's so easy to burn yourself and you can eat this with my world's de bat nah, my the world's best damn barbecue sauce which i have on my uh, if you get that on one of my webinars, or Kathy Fisher's ketchup, or Marade Ready ketchup, which is uh, in my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. So um, I'll take a bite so you can just hear. Oh my God, listen to that. Oh, oh my God, it's so good. All right, gotta eat lunch now. Bye bye.